Hello, it's Chris from MyStampLady.com. I'm here with this handmade Valentine. I have the Bloom and Love with the coordinating Bloom and Hearts thinlets and the Bitty Bows. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the supplies that you need. You need the Bloom and Love set, the Bloom and Hearts thinlets, and then I've also used the stitched shape th uh, framelits and the petal pair embossing folder. So there's two folders. This is a folder I'm going to use from the pair. Okay, so here are my paper supplies. I have some a rose red for the heart. I have some whisper white for the card base and the stamped pieces and some blushing bride. So I'm going to start with this card front. This is a half a sheet of thick whisper white, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I've placed the embossing folder just along the bottom and run that through the big shot to get this flower embossed across the bottom. Next, I have my rose red, and I'm going to run this through the big shot as well as these small flowers. I need two large flowers and three small flowers in all from the Blushing Bride. I've already cut most of them out, so I'm just going to run these two pieces through. Okay, there are my flowers. I kind of pushed them up to the side. Let's stamp that sentiment with um, Fresh Fig. And this is from the Bloom and Love. All of the supplies that I used are below down in the information or on my blog so you can go to either one mystamplady.com or look on youtube down below and you will find all the supplies i used so let's pull in that oval from the stitched shape ramelets that i would like to use and i'm going to run that through the big shot with my magnetic platform so that's quick and easy but what's not as quick is getting the heart out of the framelit or the thinlet die. A lot of detail, a lot of close together, and I did run it through a few times and that does help. I like using a stiff toothbrush just to get that out of the die. And then you will have to, you know, using your fingers, using the toothbrush, just kind of go ahead and remove all those. It really didn't take me very long, but I didn't, I didn't show you how I did that. So all those little pieces are removed running it through a few times, and they do actually come out fairly easy. Um, or you can use the precision plate. I actually prefer just running it through a few times. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding some mini glue dots to the back, and I'm just putting it on where those large, larger flowers will sit. And I found that was enough to kind of uh, to hold that heart in place. Okay, I've decided to stamp. I pushed aside that heart and I'm going to stamp on this Blushing Bride strip a little flourish or a heart um, with some leaves and flowers from, I guess, flowers and leaves from the Bloomin' Love set and just kind of a place to stand where that little My Valentine will sit. So I've stamped that and now I'm going to mount this to the card front kind of over the top edge of that embossing just right there on the card front and you can see that I've stamped that little flourish to the right side a little bit because it's going to tuck behind that heart but also come out to the right side so I've already put those mini glue dots on the back there if you um, if you remember and then I am going to go ahead and use mini glue dots and put down the blushing bride flowers. There is a little direction, so you want to just kind of find the way that they match up and then place those down. So I know I briefly mentioned it earlier, but this uh, thinlet set and this stamp set can be found in the annual catalog. This has been around, this isn't the first year, we had it last year too, but it's still a great set for your hand mail, handmade Valentines. The um, detail of this heart is just wonderful. And you can actually stamp these flowers too. I chose just to die cut them. So now I'm gonna put down some dimensionals on the back side to pop up to pop up all of the sentiment. And if you go to my website, mystamplady.com, I will have the sizes of the papers that I used also. So these bitty bows are in the in colors, the current in colors, and they are also in the annual catalog. And so I've chosen a fresh fig one to coordinate with the writing 
the ink that I used for the writing. These are great if you don't like to tie bows. They're wonderful. They're already tied for you. They're perfect. You don't have to worry about them fitting uh, or, you know, looking nice. They're already all set. So now I've taken my dark, rich Razzleberry Blends marker and I've colored the rhinestones. I added a little bit of purple to them so that they'll coordinate. They, they look pretty close to the fresh fig. And there it is. I flew it or flipped it right off. But let's put down a larger rhinestone that's been colored. And then I'm going to go in and I've already colored ahead of time so they would dry two of the smaller ones. And I'll just place those down up to the right. And there's your handmade valentine. It looks like it took a lot longer than it did. That detailed die makes that heart look so nice. So you can find all the supplies in my online store at shopwithmystamplady.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, chris at mystamplady.com. And enjoy making your Valentines this year. Thanks so much for watching.